Uh, welcome to uh, all Airclips viewers. Uh, this is uh, from Air Baltic. Uh, my name is Alain Beverstad and I will be the captain on this flight to Paris today. So here is our crew briefing area. Uh, this is where we start our duty. Uh, so we check in into the computer system and we also have the full flight schedule here where we see uh, which airplanes we fly and to which destinations. So uh, as we can see from our screen here, we can see that the, uh, the flight today uh, is going to be on uh, Charlie Sierra Alpha. And uh, that's uh, one of our new C-series aircraft, the CS300. Um, so the screen here tells us the parking position and also what the passenger load would be. Uh, this, of course, we can also find into the flight planning system, and uh, Air Baltic is using uh, the Lido uh, flight planning system from Lufthansa. Uh, the first page here is uh, basically company messages, and uh, then on we move to the operational flight plan, which tells us about the mission, um, the load, the weights, uh, the alternate airports, the amount of fuel required. Uh, then comes the uh, the weather information. So we have the uh, it starts with the air mats and sigmats and anything that's unusual. Uh, the destination. Then we have alternate, and then we have any en route airports. Uh, no temps for all the airports, uh, destination, alternates, and en routes. And then we also have weather maps. And on the weather maps, we can actually see where the routing takes us today. So it is from Riga, uh, crossing the uh, northwestern corner of Lithuania, corner of Baltic Sea into Poland around Gdansk and then uh, more or less straight through the remainder of Poland across Germany and uh, and into uh, yeah, Paris. Actually it will go in, into Belgium, slightly into Luxembourg and then to, to, to France and to Paris. And then we also have the significant weather charts there so we can see where the jet streams are and where there's any kind of significant weather. So as we can see today, there is basically nothing on our route. So it should be a smooth ride. And finally, we have the uh, the vertical profile of the of the of the flight. So it shows the wind direction and the speed uh, where the tropical pause is, uh, and the waypoints and terrain actually at the bottom. Now I'm still waiting for my crew and then, then we'll do the last part of the preparations and then we'll uh, meet up in the airplane and do our uh, short crew briefing in the airplane. Hello, Hi. Uh, Hi. how are you doing today? Good, thank you. So, this is a briefing today. We fly from Riga to Paris. Yeah, flight time is uh, 2 hours and uh, 25 minutes on the way to Paris. Temperature in Paris, Paris uh, 25 degrees. Smooth and nice flight it's supposed to be. And uh, for information, APU is an operative. So, let's keep doors open as long as possible mm -hmm. for passengers. And uh, from my side, that's all. Which stand uh, do we have for the aircraft? Stand uh, 303. And the flight that's on okay. the way back? On the way back, uh, we expect uh, 220. 220. Thank you. Uh, especially for Eclipse video channel. Uh, welcome to Riga. My name is Gins. I'm first officer on this amazing CS300 aircraft. And I will introduce you to 
external check. I'm checking ground connection port, the condition and doors. Is everything correct? Next I go to check nose wheel assembly, all the hydraulic pipes, any leakages, taxi lights, pitots, ice detector probes, angle attack vanes, is there something what can obstruct them? Then we see windshields, windshield wipers, front part of fuselage, doors, baggage doors, and condition, water drain, antennas. Main landing lights, air inlet, then we start to check wing, the engine, cows, fan rotor, condition P2T probe. Is there any leakages? Pylons, engine from the behind, turbine condition, and uh, leading edge of the wing, lights, wing lights, static dischargers, flaps. Landing gear assembly, tire wearing, brake wear, checked, oleo, pipes, no leakages, fire protection loop, service doors, after cargo doors. And of course, emergency doors. Empennage. Elevator, radar, APU. Lights. And basically all the same. The doors, left main wheel assembly, left side the wing condition. Wing lights, lights, static dischargers, leading edge, left hand engine, fan, looks good, left hand side, main landing lights. And of course we check uh, uh, windows and overall view one more time and we are finished and uh, let's go to Paris.
Yeah, you can close. 123. Good uh, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. On behalf of the crew, I'd like to welcome you on board this air Baltic flight to Paris. We are shortly ready for departure. Uh, we are expecting a flying time uh, of uh, 2 hours and 25 minutes. Takeoff will be to the north and then with a, a quick left turn uh, south uh, westbound uh, towards Paris. We are expecting good weather en route and the weather in Paris is as well good. Winds are from southeast at 6 meters per second, clear skies and temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. Before departure, the cabin crew will show you a safety video. Please pay close attention to this it's for your own safety. Otherwise, I hope you find yourself comfortably seated and I'll get back to you with more information before landing in Paris. Have a good flight, thank you. Ready for our briefing? Okay, so we are expecting uh, runway 36 for departure. The weather is fine, the aircraft is uh, good. Uh, as we briefed, APU is inoperative, so uh, we will uh, have to use ground starter. It's on the right side, so we'll start the left engine first. Okay, and then after engine started, external disconnected, we'll push. In case uh, we have any failures before 80 knots, both can call failure. I call stop, it's my controls. I'll bring the aircraft to a stop, set the parking brake, you will call ATC. Once aircraft have stopped, uh, we'll inform cabin crew and uh, then we'll do the rejected takeoff procedure. Between AT and V1, we only abort for major malfunctions, the same call outs, and anything that is red comes first. Failures after V1, we take it airborne, also climb, we select the gear up and we continue climb at V2. We climb V2 up to extension altitude, which is uh, 1700 feet. Then we accelerate in level flight, retract the flaps, and continue green dot speed. Uh, then up to, sorry, the MSA, the acceleration altitude is 900 feet. And otherwise, the engine failure takes us uh, straight ahead on runway center line. We have to stay within 25 miles. Anyway, the weather is good, so it uh, could facilitate a quick return if we need to. Takeaway is uh, 49.2 tons. We have a trim of 3.3, uh, and it will be runway 36 and Oscar for Juliet. We do uh, takeoff with flex 48, and the thrust should be 78.8 percent, which will have when we have started the engines. Otherwise, the flap two engines is the base source and speeds 124, 127, and 130. So. Um, Runway 36, we climb on one. Uh, we climb till 800 feet at or above, 1.5 uh, miles, and then we turn left to 24 in Bantu Ascor. Final cruising is flight level 400. Um, anything else? No. Okay. Then uh, let's uh, do the pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Airplane documents. On board and checked. Emergency equipment. Is checked. Gear pins. On board. Overhead panel. Is checked. Gear shield. The gear shield is uh, checked. Displays. Checked. Make us an info. Is all checked. Altimeters. We have 1015 uh, set as 20 feet. 1015 cross checked. Center panel is checked. Be the slow. Checked. Side sticks. Checked. Checked. Before check is complete. Rig ground uh, air body cat for Fox Truth requesting startup. Uh, just for information, we have to start uh, one engine on the apron. Start approved, information Bravo, QNH 1015. Start approved, QNH 1015, Air Baltic 1, 8 for Foxtrot. Startup is approved, 1015. Okay, let's do it before, start checklist. Take a briefing. It's completed. APU external power. On external power. Beacon. It's on. Parking brake. This set. Check. 
Ground from flight deck. Ground copy freedom, patch our check is completed, all doors, panels, hedges are closed and secured. Okay, thank you, and uh, then we'd like to start uh, the uh, engine number one. Okay, starting number one, can we make a pressure up? Uh, yes, you may go ahead with the pressure up. Start. Okay, start left engine. Left engine on. Uh, stabilized ground flight deck. Yes. So you may uh, disconnect the high pressure air, and you may also disconnect uh, the external power. Ground power disconnected. After two seconds, will be disconnected. I started. Are you ready to start in a push? Uh, yep. Stand by. We'll get the uh, the clearance. And multicast for Fox for requesting pushback. Are you okay for Fox? Straight push approved. Straight push approved. Are you okay for Fox? Okay, approved. Ground flight deck. Ground, hello. Okay, may I disconnect uh, the parking brake? Yes, disconnect the parking brake, please. Brake is off, you may start push. Push straight? Uh, yes, straight push. Straight. And we'd like to start on uh, the right engine. Ground flight deck. Yes, hello, I'm going to start uh, another engine after the push will complete. Okay, we'll do it. Uz atslāvu būs bravo seši, 108. lieta. Pushback completed, set. please set the brakes. Okay, brakes are set and we like to start engine 2. Cross bleed allowed. Okay, start right engine. Right engine on. Let's see how it takes the high pressure air of the left engine. Tow car and tow bar disconnected. Okay, just stand by one second. If you have two good starts, you may disconnect yourself, see in front for clear signal. Okay, see you, bye bye, have a good flight. Thank you, bye. Okay, we can do the before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist, Hadro 3 Alpha. Auto. Hadro 3 Bravo. On. Hadro 2 Bravo. On. And test left goal. Auto. Test wing. Auto. And test right goal. Auto. APU. It's off. Flip. Two selected. Flight controls. Okay, left aileron. Right aileron. Nose down. Nose up. Left rudder. Two one zero one ready for taxi. Airport eight four Fox to taxi to point runway three six. Fox to Alpha. Checked. No steer. On FMS. Set. Trims. One two green. Hey, can you info? Checked. Before taxi check complete. Thank you. Airport eight four Fox to requesting taxi. 
Victor, Fox Alpha, Alpha. to holding point runway 36, number 2. Victor, Fox Alpha, to holding point runway 36, that's number 2. Check. Taxi line too narrow. Taxi narrow. Okay, brakes is off. Right side 3. Left side is free. So the performance is valid from uh, from Bravo basically. Time is ready for takeoff checklist. Ready for takeoff checklist, cabin. Ready. And there's left goal. Auto. There's wing. Auto. And there's right goal. Auto. Auto break. RTO. X and info. It's checked. Before takeoff checklist complete. And you may box the cast. And the parking brake is on. after low approach. Continue runway heading, altitude 2500. After low so the message in four is according to is uh, APU in up. Checked. So that's per uh, per check log. Thank you. Voltage for Fox Trot Tower. Hey, Voltage for Fox Trot. Voltage for Fox Trot to clear and after departure continue runway heading to altitude 4,000 feet. After departure continue runway heading to 4,000 feet. Voltage for Fox Trot. Correct. Okay, so after departure, runway heading 4000, okay. heading Check. well set. Check. Airport 2101, line up runway 36 and wait. Line up and wait runway 36, Airport 2101. Okay, park brake is off. Check. Baltic 8 for Foxtrot, line up, runway 36 and wait. Line up and wait, runway 36, Baltic 8 for Foxtrot. Line up and wait, runway 36, park brake off, and left side is free. Entering runway 36. Right, so departing traffic. Yeah, uh, line up. Procedure complete. Thank you. They seem to be on an extended uh, downwind. That looks like that. Nice weather. Good. Probably a little bit bumpy on takeoff. Could be. Turbos. So we're on a 36 in Riga. for Fox, it's a 360 degrees 9 and not, run a 36, quest for takeoff. Take off, ready? Ready. Park off. Ready. Ready. Park break off.
versteckt. Riga Approach, Aladdin, Herbal Ticket for Foxtrot, Strut Head, Runner Heading, 36. Okay for Foxtrot, Greater Contact Land Level 280, Tenlef Heading 240. Slamming Flight Level 280, Left Heading 240, Herbal Ticket for Foxtrot. Left 240, checked. And Flight Level 280, checked. And uh, yeah, 280 set, V Flight Level Change, Climb Sequence. Flaps one selected. Flaps zero selected. Q. Okay. Airbot kit for Fox, that no speed restriction is direct Oscar. Direct Oscar, no speed restrictions, airbot kit for Fox. Set direct to Oscar. Confirm execute. Execute. And FMS1 checked. Okay, this so is standard. And heading auto. Check. After takeoff checklist complete. Thank you. Airbotic 4132, it must go, clear DLS, 36, report option lock. Clear DLS, runway 36, we'll call Airbotic 413. Airbotic 2101, direct Igor. Direct Igor, report 2101. So it's a nice day, huh? Very nice. Yurmal on the right. Okay, okay. Yurmal on the right side, yes, as yeah. you mentioned. And Lielupe, is that the second largest river or longest river? Sounds like that. Second largest. Could, Could be. Go. Could be. Largest one is Daugava. We are facing two. Julia Baya, CT. Approaching to those. Okay, uh, procedures please. Lights and belts to auto. Yes. Complete. Thank you. And we are accelerating to 275 for the climb. Check. It's actually good visibility as well. I can see the coast already, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so we're closing in on the uh, Lithuanian border now, yeah? Heading towards the Climb to level 320. Change to real news, 133 decimal 305. 3305, climbing flight level 320, airbound gate for Foxtrot. 320 set, checked. And I increase the temperature a little bit. Yeah, uh, same for the cabin. Illness control, Bazdin, airbound gate for Foxtrot, climbing flight level 320, inbound, Oscar. Baltic A284 Fox, it will not slap again, ready contact, climb to initially 320. Continue climb, flat level 320, airbound, get for Foxtrot. 320 is checked. Check, check. So RVSM check, 27, uh, 2 now. So we are all good, um, no message as well. Do you want help to climb check? Yeah, we can do that one as well. Okay. The swing goes off. Hawaii oh, dosing conditions complete. Thank you. So, uh, welcome back. We have just reached our cruising altitude. Uh, we're flying at 40,000 feet today. That's uh, about 12,100 meters. Um, 
Yeah, we are flying now at a speed of uh, Mach 0.78. Uh, ground speed is 440 knots. We just uh, crossed into the Baltic Sea here and actually uh, between this waypoint and that waypoint that's where we are within Russian uh, airspace, Kaliningrad. And then uh, further on we can see the route goes uh, to uh, Poland, Gdansk here, and then uh, we fly across Poland. Uh, Bodla, I uh, believe, is the uh, waypoint between Poland and Germany, and then we continue across uh, Germany. Uh, and here is uh, Belgium, and then uh, down south actually through Belgium, Luxembourg, and then into to Paris, which, which we have here. So, actually, we have a screen here that gives us a, a long, long range. You can you can see your whole flight. And if that's not possible, then we can even uh, we can even change the, the format of the map, and we can actually move move the routing around. So I can I can look very detailed into the routes here, all the way to. Uh, to Paris. So at the moment we have a gross weight of uh, about 48 tons and we started out at being 49.2 uh, almost. And the time then to go now to our airport is about 1 hour and 50 minutes. And plus minus a few minutes since we don't have our arrival in there yet. So this screen is uh, what we're actually using for our FMS, uh, and as you can see, it's not like in older airplanes. Uh, there is no uh, hardware buttons. It's all graphical, and that's usually how you interface with this aircraft. It's uh, we have uh, what we call a cursor control device. Uh, so it's it's a sc scroll. It's a cursor that we control here with a with a button, and then we have select keys here on this on the side yeah and uh, actually the fms is uh, i think quite intuitive uh, we have uh, tabs and we have tiles so the our fly planning basically would would start uh, with a database and then it would move we inherit position everything that has to do with position irs's satellites gns and uh, and then the conventional and this aircraft actually has uh, SBAS, so it's a satellite-based augmentation system. It also allows us very precise approach navigation, so we can uh, we can fly LPV approaches out of the box with this aircraft. And in fact, as long as the aircraft is within uh, coverage of uh, of uh, EGNOS or SPAS, uh, the FMS will disregard IRSs to update its position. It will only use GNNS. So here we have the flight planning tile. Uh, this is where we uh, initialize. And uh, because we have eight cars, uh, we are actually getting the flight plan uplink to the aircraft. So it reduces the, uh, the workload for the pilot during the, the pre-flight uh, portion of it uh, quite a lot. Uh, so we just send a flight plan request to our operations control and then uh, it gets sent up to the aircraft and, and the flight plan gets populated in the FMS. And the same thing uh, with winds. So we just request winds and it gets sent up to the aircraft. Performance, it's everything logically. So starting from the takeoff, departure, through climb, and now we're in cruise here. We can see uh, uh, what speed strategy we currently are following. Uh, the cruise altitude, the optimum altitude, and the maximum altitude for the current uh, weight of the aircraft. Then the yeah, descent will be for later and arrival. And then the pilots. So the pilot flying, he usually has the performance on his side, so we would now have cruise. And the route uh, is on the pilot monitoring side, so where we can see the waypoints and everything. All screens can basically be reconfigurable. We can put a map down here if you want, or we can, and we can put FMS up on this screen. Uh, 
the ECAS, we could put it on the one of the right screens. And uh, you can actually also do, uh, with just a map, you can do graphical flight planning. So you can click on any point uh, and, uh, and modify your, your flight plan, basically. So now my uh, co-pilot, he was doing this in the FMS, but another way to do that would be to go here on the map, mark the waypoints, Bodla, and then direct and execute. So there's multiple ways of, uh, of how they're interfacing with with avionics in this aircraft. Uh, another example is uh, when we tune frequencies. So we could do it the old way of of selecting here and tuning uh, frequency and then switching it over. Or we could use a software page, basically set the frequency there with just the numbers here on the MKP and then change the frequency. Very simple. Aircraft has CPDLC, it's a requirement, it's a forward fit requirement, and we are using that, but uh, it's not active in Poland yet, Polish airspace. So we'll log in later. A cars, I said we have. So this is what we use uh, to communicate with uh, our operation center. Uh, so reporting, uh, we report to them, they report to us. Uh, we. Uh, request uh, weather reports, uh, we request air traffic control clearances, we get our uh, load sheets, um, etc. Uh, via, via cars. It's a nice tool, but unfortunately we don't talk to our operations control anymore on radio, so it, maybe it gets a bit lonely once in a while. <laughs> then we have a one display that's basically dedicated to uh, to our primary flight instruments. So you have the uh, attitude directory indicator, you have speed, you have al altitude. Here you have the flight mode enunciations, so the the way that the flight director is working, status of the autopilot. Uh, we have a compass rows at the bottom. Uh, there is information about the active waypoints. And here we have one nice thing, is that is the, the flight number. Because uh, on the older types that you fly, where you don't have the flight number in front of your face, you sometimes have to get your flight plan and refer because you don't remember what it is anymore. The time, the date, and the temperature. You would also get uh, any kind of messages, uh, FMS messages and stuff here on, on the side of the screen. So ECAS, uh, the engine instruments. So here we have the primary, the, the thrust setting values up here, the engine temperatures, uh, and then it's more uh, secondary instruments, uh, the N2, so the how fast the core is spinning, the fuel flow, you can you see now that we have 800 kilos per engine per hour. So that's 1.6 tons cruise. That's, that's quite good for this type of airplanes. But it's brand new, so uh, oil temperature, oil pressure. Um, we can see more in, more information if you want to. Here we have the fuel. And that's the total fuel load. And here we have the wing tanks, and then in the the center tank. That's an uh, indication regarding uh, the cabin altitude and uh, oxygen for the crew. And we have the temperatures here in the, in, the, in the airplane. So we have one zone for the flight deck. We like to keep it cool. The passengers, they usually like to keep it warmer. So it's 29, 28 degrees now in the forward and aft cabin. Uh, trim setting uh, for the aircraft, uh, the stabilizer. And otherwise, we only have actually a rudder trim indication. Uh, aircraft is fly-by-wire, so we we actually don't have any conventional trim on this aircraft. And here we have a message box that uh, tells us if there is something uh, that's not normal. Uh, at the moment, we have actually selected the wing anti-ice off, as you can see here. We have a function that we can actually remove them all. We call it boxing the CAS. So now it's unbox. We have an APU fault, it's an advisory message, and uh, it's because the APU is inoperative. 
and otherwise wing edges of hydraulic pump 2B and 3B is selected on and then we have the, the portable electronic devices we don't have a no smoking sign anymore it's uh, it's all given and we have synoptic pages so we can actually uh, see more information as I said you can you can see more information about the the engine for example how much oil is on the engine here is would be APU information the tire pressures the brake temperatures we can uh, look at uh, air system so the, the bleed part of it and the packs uh, pressures coming off the engines uh, if we would select uh, and uh, the wing anti-ice would be on these lines would be green uh, trim air and where trim air is supplied to that's the duct supply temperature and here on we have the the uh, C on that is the commanded or selected temperature and then uh, the actual temperature is given in white above this uh, small plus three and plus two, that is uh, an offset that a cabin crew is allowed to adjust. So cabin crew can adjust the temperature plus or minus three degrees in the cabin management system. Doors, so we can see the status of the doors, everything green, that's good, and armed for the slides. The, uh, the overhead uh, exits, their slides are always armed, so that's why we don't see those three in the middle that's the avionics space that are under the aircraft where all the computer and gadgets are are hidden electrical page uh, so that's the engine side so we are supplying the electrical system now from the left and the right generator we can see uh, the load on it and we can see the voltage of them uh, ac buses and then we have a dotted line and that splits the AC system from the DC system so batteries here on the on the top uh, flight controls so the aircraft is fly by wire so everything the pilots do is via a side stick controller and uh, basically you uh, give an input uh, electrical input to uh, the primary flight control computers and there's three of those and they uh, process the signal and they uh, uh, according to the built-in uh, control laws they uh, they may modify it uh, for example if if we pitching the nose up and the speed drops off uh, you're not able to uh, to go uh, to a lower speed where uh, where you stall the aircraft basically so it will prevent this uh, uh, it will also prevent the aircraft, for example, from banking uh, more than a certain number of degrees. Uh, uh, so we can see the position of ailerons, elevators, and the rudder here now. If anything, any surface gets inoperative, it will then get a cross, uh, an amber uh, indication on it. Fuel system, it's all automatic. You see the quantities, the temperatures, and uh, we can see how the fuel is being used. So basically, uh, the fuel is taken from the collector bay and supplied onto its respective engine. Uh, and then fuel, as we're burning fuel out of the wings, fuel is being transferred out of the center tank, as you can see by the green, green arrows. So we can see, uh, this is the reservoir, we can see the quantity level, we can see the temperature. Uh, here we can see what pumps are pressurizing the system. So for the number one and number two system, the primary is an engine driven pump. And in this backup in number one system, we have a power transfer unit. And as a backup in the number two system, we have a electrical pump. And the uh, number three hydraulic system is, is done pressurized by uh, by two electric hydraulic pumps you can see the the pressure and you can also see what it's powering and if you look at it you can actually see that there is systems that are duplicated so you have slats are on uh, on two and three flaps would be on one one and three and some you can see, even see is, is uh, triple so very redundant airplane
which left before arrival, so one hour, five minutes only. So now we don't have to run in and ask him captains every time, so what time left? Easy. Um, also about system, let's say, about water system or waste system, it's also clearly viewed here. And also if somebody in the cabin press the cabin call button so we can see which row and which seat, very convenient. Of course we can regulate the lights throughout all the cabin, as well as, uh, which my favorite is uh, Christmas and rainbow lights. It's very beautiful, it's all the time changing the colors. I think it's very interacting and uh, it, it's raised the mood of passengers. Of course we use it only for some special occasions, uh, like, uh, like uh, Independent Day of Latvia as well. The airplane is really comfortable to fly for the pilots. Uh, basically it has no, uh, there's no legacy here. It's a clean sheet designed and uh, yeah, they don't need to keep, uh, uh, to worry about uh, keeping a common type rating. So it's brand new, uh, everything is made for the pilots and uh, with pilot input as well. Um, so Bombardier has done a really good job in, uh, in uh, making this aircraft. Okay, so I, I joined Air Baltic uh, about 12 years ago. Uh, started as a Fokker 50 co-pilot uh, based out of Vilnius. And then uh, continued as a Fokker 50 captain. And uh, I also became an instructor and examiner on the Fokker 50. And then back in uh, 2008, uh, when the company uh, decided to order the uh, Q400s, I was asked to take uh, the position of uh, project pilot and then later technical pilot on the uh, on the Q400. Um, so uh, I've been a captain on, on the aircraft and I've been uh, an examiner there as well. And uh, then uh, back in 2012, uh, when the aircraft, uh, sorry, when uh, the company decided to go with uh, the order of the C series, I was asked to do the same thing on the on the C series. So I've been the project pilot. I'm now the technical pilot on this one, uh, captain and a TRE also on, on the C-Series. Uh, so yeah, it's it's very exciting. Uh, I get to go to the factory in uh, in Mirabel and, uh, and pick up the airplane, do the custom acceptance flight and then, and then uh, finally fly the aircraft over the Atlantic uh, to Riga. And it's a direct flight actually that we do, so uh, no stopover, about six and a half hours, seven hours. And uh, yeah, bef before Air Baltic, I basically did my, my flight training in, uh, in the States, in the US. Uh, what was common at that time was, uh, was to go there because it was cheaper and then actually to be uh, on what they call a J1 visa, which gave you two years. So you did your flight training and thereafter you, uh, you would work as a flight instructor, flying uh, small Cessnas uh, or, or small twins and then build hours. So typically we would have about 1,000, 1,200 hours where most of it then was flight instruction actually before coming back home. And unfortunately I came home uh, just after 9-11 so there was not much work uh, at that time. So I had a few few years working on the ground. I worked in SAS on the ground side, so I have uh, have seen how that works as well. Approaching Paris, ready for descent briefing, approach briefing. So uh, we expect landing on uh, 09 left, and uh, we got the ATS. The weather is uh, quite good. Wind 1409 there. Can H1016 and we have a temperature of 24, otherwise it was cover okay, yeah? Okay. So, uh, we check the performance, and performance is good for about 4, and we have order brakes uh, to, uh, to low. We have four approaches 122, two, and in case of go around is 138. So, uh, we expect uh, the Vedus 7 uh, arrival. Uh, with the Loni 4 Echo transition and then ILS 09 left. Arriving overhead uh, Vedus, we have to be max speed 280, uh, flight level 280 or below. And then inbound Serum, Enori, uh, Devin, uh, below flight level 160, and then Loni max speed 280. Um, flight level 110 above or flight level 150 below 
And that is correct uh, with HR 20 dash to hotel. Uh, and then from Lorney, we then expect the R9 initial approach 9 left. And uh, that takes us from Lorney. Station in flight level 380, airborne skate for Fox 380 is set with reflight level change. Uh, from Wheeler inbound to Papa Golf 501, and uh, that's an uh, open RNF, and then we expect vectors for the ILS. The ILS is on chart 21 3, effective 27th of April, and uh, Looking at the arrival data here, it's uh, frequency 10935. That's 1000 per minute or more. And we have that. It's 1000 to go, standard. Front approach uh, course is 085 and the glide slope angle is 3 degrees. platform is 4,000 feet and the minima 600. MSA is 3,200 in case of missed approach. We uh, climb straight ahead to 4,000 then as directed as uh, well as indicated on the screen. Speed VLT S cap. After landing we uh, vacate uh, to uh, yeah, Sulu 5 or Sulu 6 and then we have to sh hold short of the inner runway and then we expect taxi uh, on the Quebec uh, to uh, probably to join Bravo at some point Quebec 12 sorry Quebec is close between Quebec 12 and Echo and then onto Bravo and Echo and Golf 3 as well was close there and we parked Delta 20 or somewhere Baltic 8 for Foxtrot, descend level 340, 1500 or more. Swing 340 at uh, 1500 feet per minute more, Baltic uh, 8 for Foxtrot. 350, check. At 1500 more or more. Okay. Three vertical speeds, uh, minus 1500 feet is Shift. set. Uh, Baltic 8 for Foxtrot, the clear level is 340. Descending flight level 340, Baltic 8 for Foxtrot. 340 is set. Check. Baltic 8 for Foxtrot, Master hello, identify it, continue descent, flight level 310. Descending flight level 310, Baltic 8 for Foxtrot. 310 set, vehicle speed, 1500. VLTS, V-Path, that's We can do a descent and approach. That's a decent approach, you cost. Any test wing? Auto. FMS. Set. Minima. 580 set. Auto brake. Low. Acres. Is uh, checked. How close the briefing? Completed. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your uh, captain again. We have started our descent and approach into uh, Paris. We expect to be landing in about uh, half an hour. Weather in Paris is good. Uh, the winds are from uh, southeast uh, at uh, 3 meter per second. A few clouds and temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. I hope you've enjoyed the flight with us uh, this afternoon. Thank you for choosing your Baltic. I look forward to seeing you at the later location. Have a good day. Thank you. Our Baltic 84 Foxtrot is on the level uh, 150. Listen to flight level 150, airport gate for Foxtrot. We'll see now what it wants to do. If it wants to level there, it does. No, oh, well, it should not, but. Nope. Okay, V Alt V is our. Next is. Uh, uh, 150, but we are clearing down, so I'll take V now out Check. and I'll set a vertical speed there. 1500 Check. feet. Wake off the previous one. Kind of prepared to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching our destination. Your electronic devices should be either switched off or switched to flight mode. And also for landing, please make sure your hand baggage is stowed away, your armrests are down, tables and seat backs are in an upright position, 
Your window blinds are open and your seat belt is securely fastened. After landing, please wait with the smoking until you are in a designated smoking area. Thank you. I can switch that one to the roots, then I can see the time. So we can see the airport to the left. And there's 1000 to go standard. Check standard. Local will be tuned. Local will be tuned, yeah. Nav to nav transfer. And we have lock 1 is uh, 085 and 10935. That matches the plate. Cabin is ready. Cabin is ready. Um, that guy didn't tell us that number. Okay, you didn't get that. I think it will be Delta 20. We'll see. <laughs> we'll find out. So 20 miles direct to the airport. I'm gonna make it 40 miles, 40 track miles, I suppose. Baltic 84 Foxtrot, descend to flight level 60. Descending flight level 60, we're about to get for Foxtrot. Flight level 60 set. Check. Flight level change. Check. Alt S. Check. A beam the airport now. I can see the Eiffel Tower. It's uh, straight out, basically. Air France 12, November Romeo, descend at level 90. 90. 90. Baltic 84 Fox, what would you speed to 209? Reducing to 200 knots, sir, both get for Fox Root. Reducing to 200 knots. That is correct. Contact arrival 12643, bye-bye. 12643, air both get for Fox Root. Arrival go down to one air both get for Fox Root. Baltic 84 Fox, bonjour, radar LS09 left. 09 left, sir, both get for Fox Root. 10,000, complete. Thank you. Sequence on Hibbert, check. Baltic 84 Fox Root, descend altitude 4,000 feet, QNH 1015, turn left, heading 250. 24,000 feet, QNH 015, left ending 250, airbound ticket for Foxtrot. 250. 250, heading 4,000 is set, set QNH 1015. We have a heading mode active. You can set uh, the center line for me on the course intercept. Baltic 84 Fox Fox, turn left heading 230. Left heading 230, airbound get for Fox Fox. 230, Some small airport here actually, or oh, maybe not even small, it's two runways. Baltic 84 Fox Fox, turn left heading 180. Left heading 180, airbound get for Fox Fox. Heading 180, set. Check. Is it 2439, contact our 119250, au revoir. 119250, is it 2439, au revoir. Allez, 1000 to go, 1015. Check, 2015. Alors, 8100, une info dans vos 3h4 nautiques qui intercepte l'axe parallèle. 2 and a half cross track, I guess we'll get intercepted. Baltic 84 Fox, start, turn left heading 120, intercept LS09 left. Left heading 120, clear to intercept. Uh, localizer, zero 09 left, airball ticket for Fox Root. Okay, heading 120. Yeah, 901, keep 180 knots until 6 miles and contact our 119250, over. Approach FMS 1, approach FMS 1, approach lock 1 and glide stop arm. Baltic 984 uh, Foxtrot, I can see I'm cleared full ILS uh, 09 left. 
cleared ILS zero nine left there about get for folks. Okay, we cleared full uh, full ILS and uh heading auto. Scandinavian 559 Flap Scandinavian 559, descend altitude 4000 feet, QNH 1015, radar ILS 09 left. Sun altitude 4000 feet, QNH 1015, uh, radar vector ILS 09 left, Scandinavian 559. So if you want us to start reducing, but we're catching up. It's been 200 sets. Approach lock 1, 2. I'm gonna ask him if he wants us to slow. And what's good for Foxtrot? Any speed requirement? Uh, speed uh, 180 knots at the glide. On glide 180 knots are about good for Foxtrot. At the glide. Glide up is coming. Check. Can you flap two? Flap two select. Europe 8100, réduit vitesse 169, reporté à la tour 119-250, au revoir. 19250 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 speed 0 knots. Reduce 160, Gear down and landing sequence. Gear down selected. Number 28218, Charlie Sierra on what one decimal 5 with Paris information. Do you read? November 218, Charlie Sierra on one two one five with Paris information. Do you read? Descend altitude 5000 feet, QNH 1015. 5,000, 1, 0, 1, 5, Flaps 3, 3, 4. Thank you. Number 218, Charlie, Sierra, Paris Information. If you read, please contact Paris Control, 1, 2, 4, decimal, 8, 5, 0. Flaps 4, select. Tracked. And now I'll continue releasing speed. I will take 84 Foxtrot, contact tower 119250, over. 119250, Airbus 4 Foxtrot. Charlie Bell of Dover, good afternoon, Airbus 4 Foxtrot. LS09 left. I will take 84 Foxtrot, bonjour, 4 miles behind Embraer 170. Wind 110 degrees, 3 knots, runway 09 left, clear to land. Auto throttle. Clear to land, runway 09 left, Airbus 4 Foxtrot. Clear land, approach 2, auto throttle is off. Check. Altimeters. FIA 901 cross runway 09 right via Kilo 6 after crossing contact to ground Line up runway 09 right. South of it, runway 09 right. Easy 71 Fox Alpha. Okay, easy 71 Fox Alpha, sorry, we're actually at Delta 4. Uh, FM, you can line up from uh, Delta 4. South of it, 09 right, Delta 4, easy 71 Fox Alpha. Really light. Up 8100, maintenez avant la piste 09 droite point d'arrêt kilo 8. Maintien avant la 09 droite point d'arrêt kilo 8, up 8100. Contact. Minimums. Contact, we can't land. One 
Taxi 71 Fox Alpha, clear for takeoff, runway 09 right, wind 170 degrees, 5 knots. Clear for takeoff, 09 right, taxi 71 Fox Alpha. Traverser la piste 09 droite après la traversée, contactez le sol 121 610. Traverse 09 droite par kilo 8 de l'autre côté, sol 121 810. Hop, 8100. Psycho 6, le Herbatic oh, va traverser la piste après lui. Tu pourras pénétrer la piste 09 droite pour l'inspection et rappel dégagé. Derrière le Herbatic, autorisé à pénétrer la piste 09 droite pour inspection et rappel piste inspectée dégagée de Psycho 6. Rabatic 84 Fox Road, cross runway 09 right via Kilo 7 after crossing, contact ground 12161. Cross 09 right via Kilo 7 after crossing 12161, Airbotic 84 Fox Road. Cross Kilo 7 and uh, yeah, strip yeah, one check. On. After landing, left side is free. Right, free. Easy 71 Fox Alpha. Paris ground, good afternoon, airport, Cat for Foxtrot, Y Kilo 7, cross to 0 and right. Bonjour, Baltic Cat for Fox, turn uh, left to join Bravo on left. Turn left to, bro to join Bravo on left, airport, Cat for Foxtrot. Tak, strobes off, correct, and the uh, procedure is complete. Thank you. Gate for Fox Trot, hello, taxi Tango Bravo 2, stand on Delta 2-0. Joe Tango Bravo 2, stand Delta 2-0, they're about to get for Fox Trot. Tango Bravo 2, check. Delta 2-0. Okay, let's say free. Delta 2-0, Bonsoir, taxi Tango Bravo 3 and hold at the inner stop. Tango Bravo 3 to hold at the inner stop, PCH is going to have a hyper. Okay, parking lot is set. Checked. Shut down checklist. No steer. Yes, off. APN is on, no power. Waiting. So we have three minutes, I'll shut down the left one, okay? Okay. Left engine run is off. Maybe you can call to remind them, no? Uh, they're coming, but they have to get a gate. You see, yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. They are, they are doing so, right engine run goes off. Check. Passenger signs. Passenger signs goes off. Beacon. Off. Hydro 3 off. 3 off off. 
Three bromo. Off. Two bromo. Off. And two swing. Off. Complete. Thank you.